Yeah. You know what I love? I love the fact that not only you guys are the producers and the exec producers, but you're also hands-on in terms of we've got the writer. You directed it? Yeah, I directed it. And yeah. Wow. Well, it's, it's been such an amazing journey, especially uh, with the actors we have. Like, yeah. I mean, we've got legends like Desmond uh, Dube, wow. we've got Star, <laughs> we've got Candice Mugisele, Name Maps is on there, yeah. like nice. Stella Garcia Raymond just coming out. And like we found uh, Sipo, Sipo uh, Dinga. He's uh, not a known star, yeah. but he's the lead of our show and he's absolutely amazing. Like we went through so many auditions to find him and I'm so happy uh, we got a chance to work with such talented individuals. Yeah. That's amazing guys. What are the challenges that you face? I mean, obviously, you know, you're you're young in the industry and here you are with this massive production. Obviously, it, it's a bit nerve-wracking, I'm sure. I can yeah. imagine the kind of things, the challenges you had to face. What were some of them that you found were quite difficult that you didn't realize? You would, you would come across? Um, as you say, we, we're very young people, we're yeah. starting out, and we just She's have 23. to... You're 24! 24 and a few days. <laughs> yeah, it's just being taken seriously and knowing how to lead people who have been there before you. Yeah. So that can be a bit complicated and also just... Um, now that we've put out our project out there, it's out there for people to criticize and have their own opinions, so I'm just nervous about that. Yeah. Real quick, why should people watch Mpilo? Temba, why should they watch? <laughs> oh man, I guess it's a genuine story, it's a coming of age story, like we have this uh, normal trope in our country of absent fathers. So we're exploring the relationship between a, a young boy from a trick, um, um, trying to be a man and reconnecting with his father he hasn't seen in 10 years' time. So it's quite mm. an emotional journey that every South African, actually anyone in the world could uh, relate to. Yeah, yeah. So what kind of content do you guys want to end up doing at the end of the day? You know what I mean? Is this it? You want to be telling true South African stories? Do you also want to be taking our stories internationally? You want to be dwelling in a little bit of reality? Where are we going with this production game? Yeah, yeah. Guys? The sky's the limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I love that. So we just want to um, also just tell stories for young people, yeah. what we're going through, yeah. stories that people can relate to. And we also want to go international and just you know, yeah, so that means we need to get commissioned for like season four. Yeah. Still want to do features. Yeah. When they yeah. get to a soapy, like yeah. put a proper stamp in the on the country. You know? Who would you love to work with in the industry? Like your dream cast or even crew? <sighs> There's so many. There's too many. Like from the first, I think from the first start, I feel like I did work with my dream crew and yes. dream cast. Mm -hmm. But I'd love to work with a lot of different people in the industry. Like it's this industry is so big at the same time it's so small. Like uh, explored a lot of different talents. I feel like it should be like that. Collaborate yeah. with yeah. everyone. I want to work with uh, Shonda Rhimes and <laughs> Ava DuBernay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Shonda Rhimes, okay. Look at you, girl. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mbali Temba, good luck to you guys, man. And uh, we're very proud of you. You can check out Impilo every Monday at uh, 8 p.m. on Zanzi Magic Channel 161.